All right, back again. Uh, this is number three. Uh, Trace. Trace, yeah. For our friends south of the border. Or in the United I guess they could United be north of the States. border. They yep. could be, yeah, they could be anywhere. Uh, Maybe east of the yeah. border, west of the border. West, south, north, central of the border. They could be on the border. On the border. Uh, regardless, uh, you, you and Prime, uh, your, your hosts with the most... Uh, here, here with another edition of Shadow Hearts. Uh, we left off last time in was it Shaoyang? Shaoyang Village. Uh, we just got done, kind of checking the gates. They are indeed sealed, blocked. Which uh, looks to be a giant curse, whatever you would call it, a giant rune sigil. Some some sigil. sort of sigil is a good word. Some sort of floor magic. That, that stops doors from opening. Uh, so we're gonna make our way back to the Bone Shrine. Bunch of purple flex seal, keeping that door shut. Ooh, that one crawls on the ground. That's, we, we haven't seen one of them yet. So we did see it, I killed it, and didn't look at it in the last video. Uh, we were, I think we were on a rant. We were on a tear. Oh boy. Uh, so this time we'll actually see what the heck that thing is. Uh, probably gonna have to use an item on her, but I'm gonna let her get a little lower. Because uh, I don't remember how much mana they give me. It's a green flyer, but and it crawls. crawls on the ground. That's yeah, zero flight happening. That's what I expect from this game. Par uh, for the course so far. Yeah, that is a straight up misdirection. That, that dude doesn't even have wings. Nope, he has a snail tail, or an octopus tentacle for a butt, <laughs> and he walks on his arms. No leg day for this guy. Zero leg day. He can skip leg day and not even feel guilty because he doesn't have legs. Does anyone not like? Does anyone really feel guilty skipping leg day? Uh, when they become a meme on the internet, they That's probably true. do feel yeah. some shame. Oh yeah, the, they got I'm the sure Dorito body going. Oh yeah. Uh, one of my friends, I uh, won't say his name because I'd feel bad. Uh, just straight up born with Dorito body. That's unfortunate. It, it like he did the broadest shoulders and just the smallest little hips. I feel like I have broad shoulders and small hips. Maybe I don't have small hips. I, I hope I you're not talking about me. I won't name him. Okay. Not going to name him. I'll be right back. I'm going to go check myself <laughs> in the mirror. Ah, oh, damn it. I just bought Doritos today at the store. I'll just set those on the counter, stand next to them. we got to get the perspective shot. right, so you like, tape it to your mirror and just back up. <laughs> <laughs> if I fit in the Dorito bag, I know it's me. And you guys also know it's me, so you don't know what I look like, but you know I look very similar to a Dorito bag. The bag? No, the Dorito. The, the Dorito itself. Yeah, the chip no, itself. The, bot the, the bag is rectangular. From a front view, yes, bags are cylindrical, but you, you get it. <laughs> now I'm all kinds of confused. The bag. No, Dorito body is in broad shoulder narrows down to just... Uh, okay, so just an upside-down triangle. There you go. Uh, does that have a name? Or is it just an upside-down triangle? Uh, well... You, a triangle, you think, it's... you know, flat on the bottom, point at the top. Pyramid, flat on the bottom, point at the top. Is there a name for an upside-down triangle? Probably just that. Upside-down triangle. Inverted triangle, maybe, if you want to get fancy. There you go. I like that better. The technical term. Makes us sound uh, a, a twinge smarter. Twinge. Twinge is another good word. I use it too often. Uh, uh, now that we're recording me talking, <laughs> we're really going to notice that I only know four well, Maybe Maybe four we'll words. get a twinge counter on the screen <laughs> and just keep a, keep a tally. Hey, lady. I put the kitties to sleep permanently. Ooh. See, those are the one-liners that I really enjoy. Right. Oh, then, he, then he, he followed it up with another line. Come on, Yuri. Why don't you show us your true form, too? Turn this endless procession of what? Lies. Of lies. I thought it said feces. <laughs> Figured if we came here and took care of you, well, you know how it always works. A little, little fourth Whoop wall poke ass. there. Right. Ah, fools, even if I die, the monsters will remain, and you'll still be imprisoned in this town. Ah, that's what they all say. As yeah, soon as right. we snuff her, that sigil's gone. Oh, 100%. Like, who who else has the power here? All of this is the will of the great Yamaraja, protector of our village. He is not doing a good job protecting your village. Yeah, come on. I could take care of him. 
just by destroying the shrine back there. Come on, so he's from Joyzy? Yeah, come on. He's got a little bit of Joyzy yeah, in him. His, his next line will read it as Joey Wheeler. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he's with the bows that sacrifice to him. Hey, did you sacrifice the bones to him? Shouldn't they be gone? Well, I think it looks like they only have the skulls. It's like a memorial. So maybe like, all the rib cages, femurs, fibias, tibias. There's there's that malice again. We're, I'm running out using, of bones. I remember the name of <laughs> using uh, malice of the townspeople, and that's that's what's kind of keeping this. Oh, she said she evil made a fence. Going. So the fence around the doors, or she's talking about those bones? Yeah, as the a fence. bone wall around that shrine. Oh man. Because without killing me, you can't get near the shrine. Uh, easy peasy. So I was right after all. You are the one to get. <laughs> he -ha, ha ha First you'll have to catch me. She said <laughs> poof. Poof she and says I'm gone. Poof. She said. <laughs> oh, they didn't put it in quotes. I guess she literally said poof. Where'd the demon cat go? We don't know that that's a demon cat yet. I guess the the Wait. kids turn into demon cats. He assumes they're all demon cat. Now it says cat lady, right? <laughs> Immediately the assumption is is proven. Aimlessly, wither and die in this village. Yeah, you can try. I'll skin your hide. Oh, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Ha 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 ha. Try way to. Don't think that cat even can escape this place any more than we can. I don't know if she wants to. Oh, you know what? I bet someone purposely ran that water around this village. Cats. That's making a lot more sense. Right, right? Cats don't like water. They're yeah. keeping them in. And we almost let the oh, cat oh, out of the bag. What'd that say? Pile of skulls. It's wriggling. Gross. There seems to be invisible power making each skull smiling. Oh, that's pretty creepy. I don't think I've ever actually looked at those before. Say that again. Seems to be an invisible power making each skull smiling. That's That got lost in translation a little bit. The, the verbiage is weird, but you get, you get the idea. That's like a double negative. Uh, oh, what's that? There's a scroll of a cannibal god on the altar. I'm guessing that's uh, Yamaraja is the cannibal god. Uh, coming out of the bag. Nasty. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? It's 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 Yuri's wife's head. Oh. Oh no. Oh okay yeah I clicked on it. Found you. Found you. That was not that difficult. Yuck yuck yuck. So it's goofy. Yeah. If only either of us could do a good goofy. No. Only only goofy line I can do is the. Uh, Two keyblades. <laughs> that's pretty that's, good. That's about the depth yeah, that's... of my goofy. <laughs> I all I have is Mickey and sometimes Elmo. I gotta warm up to Elmo though. That's that's a lot higher than my natural tone. Help, oh, see when you go Elmo's... mash next, you uh you talk to people on accident a lot. It's like Elmo's not as funny as he was before all the uh, allegations. Allegations. There's allegations on Elmo. Well, I guess on on just Sesame the puppeteer Street of oh, Elmo. What? Yeah, Does it isn't tickle that me the... Elmo was tickling children. Pretty much. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Wasn't it? Uh, oh no. Uh, the Family Guy joke. The. Well, yeah, I, don't I don't know, know if it was Family really Guy or, or South Park that did it. It wasn't. The, I feel like I would. Can, can Elmo, Elmo watch you go potty? That had. To be don't fair. touch me there, Elmo. That's what they called the toy. Don't touch me there, Elmo. Oh, that sounds like a family kind of thing. Uh, yeah, that's just another canis. Oh, that's up for you. Learn something every day. Steve from Blue's Clues, though, he's still a he's still a man of the people. Okay, yeah, there. He, he came back to us when we <laughs> needed him most. Yeah. Who knew uh, that all our COVID, problems yeah. could be solved by just just. Checking in with Steve for a minute. How you doing, guys? And it was like, wow. A 50-year-old man looking straight hmm? into your soul and telling you you did good. Yep. He knew right where to get us, too. Uh, Tell me you all didn't cry. Just I, a little bit watching that. I'm, I'm not. Uh, probably going to lose some points here. 
Never, never oh no, I it. I saw maybe two episodes of the show. It wasn't right, attached yeah, to it. No. It was it was the gesture yeah, from Steve though. But you know what did get me? Adam Sandler's last stand up when he did that song about Chris Farley, Waterworks Going. Ooh, that's that's Yeah, that's that, a tough ask. You'd have to be made of stone oh, not to yeah. be moved by that. You know, a lot of people don't like Chris Farley, they say his acting subpar, but you gotta remember the time period we were in. Uh, the age that you know, well, I personally was. I don't, I don't know what age you are listening. Uh, and you know what? If you're young, uh, why the hell are you here? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. This is not appropriate for you. Uh, uh, shouldn't you be in bed? Don't you have school in the morning? And you know what? Uh, Did you finish your homework? <laughs> it, and if you're like, hell with that guy, damn him. Uh, then you know what? Maybe you do belong here. You use a big boy word, so I'm sure you can handle a few diamonds. A few hooks. Yeah, a few. <laughs> couple of hooks. Either way, watch Ooh. a Chris Farley movie. Either Black Sheep or, uh, what's the other one? Tommy Boy is Tommy a Boy, popular yeah. one. Watch, uh, watch Beverly Hills one. Ninja. Beverly Hills Ninja is underrated, I think. Well, that, yeah, I watched that one recently, and man, that's a lot more slapstick humor than it is like yes. good jokes. It's it's a hard watch. Yeah, to, Tom uh, Boy and Black Sheep are, I think, the better ones. I but, don't think David Spade is in Beverly Hills Ninja. No, and that is it's probably uh, it's why the other guy that plays his brother. He's a really good actor, but he's he's not really in it in it. Right, right. He's got some cool stunts though. I wish I remembered his name. Handsome fellow. Very handsome fellow. Very handsome. Very handsome man. Maybe that's his name. Handsome man? Can't handsome. imagine. Man, if we just man Google handsome man, see if he comes up. If you Google handsome man, I feel like it's gonna be George Clooney. Well, maybe like five years ago. I haven't heard George Clooney's name in a while. Ever since uh, Twilight Boy became the new Batman. No one's talking about George Clooney. Because we all know he was the best Batman. Only because George he Clooney, had, huh? Only because he had nipples on his suit. You got nipples on the bat suit. That's number one, man. Uh, my Batman has nipples. You ain't got nipples on your suit? Not my Batman. I was, I was a Michael Keaton Batman fan. Oh, yeah, you're going off the performance. This is true. This is true. <laughs> If I'm going performance. I liked his Bruce. Adam West. Oh, there you go. Uh, Adam West was just a classic. Solid. I mean, look at the gadgets they had back then. They had they had shark repellent in a can, in an aerosol yeah, right? can, on the helicopter, because that's where you need shark repellent is when you're flying in a helicopter. His, naturally, his uh, his one-liners to Robin just got me. I love how just inherently rude he was to Robin sometimes. Uh, didn't even connect with that one, but you know what? Got got. I like to point out that Yuri is just like, looks like he's having a mental breakdown whenever I use my fusions, and then when he comes out of it, he's very just, ugh, like he, he feels it. Uh, I just want to draw some attention to that, because, uh, you know, it'll make more sense at a later time. Just, you know, make a note. Mental note. What's going on down here? Got a oh, it is. Here. It is, uh... I'm not going to pronounce his last name right, I don't think. Uh, Robin Shou? 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 Yeah. Or Shou? Yeah. He's, uh, he's he plays Liu Kang. Yeah, right, right. In Mortal Kombat is where you would know yeah, him from. Yeah, handsome boy. He is. He's a very handsome man. He's ripped. He would, uh... He would get it. He would get I it. I believe is how the, the kids say it nowadays. He, he is lit. Fam. Show. Hurtin' for a squirt. Quack Oracle. He's got he's got character art. He's got a uh, picture when we talk to him. So if I know anything about RPGs, he's gonna join the party. The oh. Do we name him Quack? Do we name him Quack? Do we quack name attack. him Quack? Well, well, still people here, eh? Yeah. How the how the hell did you get in here? Might have been here the whole time. There's a few houses we can't go into. 
Ah, and he let us sleep on that nasty floor and didn't say anything. Did, did Yuri gave the, the big gates a, a good old kick. A couple of kicks. There you go. Gonna break his foot like someone else we know, we mentioned in the last episode, Aragorn. <laughs> broke his foot kicking the Urukai helmet. We're bringing Fun it fact. back. We're yep. bringing it back. That wind of heaven. In this country's language, it means you can't leave, right? Very this astute. country. Very astute. Yep, that's, that's about the size, size of it. it. We all know he's over exaggerating. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, see, yeah, I was Alice asking is, the real yeah, questions. Right? How the hell did you get in here? Through here, through here, just we push just the push gate, the gate open. open. Oh, so it's a it's a one way. It's a one way. So we just go to the other side of the village. Should be an exit. We can't. Well, we can't swim. So I'm assuming we can't climb. We got it. We got in, but it looks like we can't get back out. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Where's his emotions on his sleeve? <laughs> yeah. What was his name? Man that hates things. <laughs> And you, you are? are? Here we go. Ha ha ha. You want to know who I am? I am the true ruler of the nine heavens. The absolute sage. Yeah, how do you say that one? Prime. Zhu Zhen would be my guess. Zhu Zhen. If we have anyone who actually Or is it knows. just no no H sound? Would it be just Zhu Zhen? You, I don't know. We could change his name so we could pronounce it that's, and avoid the catastrophe. Well, that's, nope, it's locked in. Yeah, Lock we, it in. It is Master we're not, Zhu Shen. We're not changing anyone's name. Better yet, in this we'll, playthrough. we'll pronounce it a different way every, every time. Every time? Yeah. And we'll let you let's, guys let's vote in a poll. Zuzu. Zuzu. Yeah, I'm going to call him Zuzu. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. Many adepts in the world, but only I will do that kind of work. By the hour or day not both so he's the only Either professional one. he's the only one who charges people hired by the elders in the neighboring village to come investigate this place so there was another village we could end it up in and we picked cat demon cat demon hotel it's probably the first exit off the highway you know why didn't we follow the train tracks that's it seems weird to, well i guess we did the super heroic anime jump off the top of the train so we didn't really pick where we were going just trying to get away from Baikon. And yeah, thankfully for us, we landed on a trail. We didn't yeah, just right. land in the middle of the, in the prairie, the plains, oh, wherever we were. Thank God we didn't land in that three foot deep water. Yeah, we that, that's drowned. where our story ended. Yep, we would have drowned right off the bat. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. May, May Juan getting a little handsy. Yeah, liking the Yuri. Yep. How do you like it, Yuri? That's how you scare customers, right? Yeah, this you brought this on yourself, Yuri. Yeah, you had it coming. We've come full circle. You deserve that groping. Top-notch acupuncturist. I had no idea what that was when I first played this game. An acupuncturist? Nope. Was totally clueless. I feel like I knew probably because of a movie... Does he, in The Animal, with Rob Schneider, does he go to an acupuncturist? Uh, why do I feel like either in The Animal or, uh, what uh, is it, Deuce Bigelow? Maybe one of his clients ooh, maybe, does it? Maybe, Because yeah, I, be I am picturing Rob Schneider visiting yeah, an just acupuncturist. Just full of needles? Yes. Yeah. That does sound very familiar. I know I've seen a cartoon as well uh, where they're just full needled up and they sneeze and it just like shrapnels everyone in the room. Classic. Might have even been an anime. I'm not sure. We just saw it in the uh, Dogs in Space show. There you go. We there just saw go. that scene. I believe it was... I don't know if he sneezed or they just scared everybody. I think they scared him. And everybody freaked out. Who was it? Loaf? It was Loaf, Getting yeah. acupuncture. Yeah, he was trying he, to chill out. Panicked. He was trying to relax. Oh, oh so there we go. Pops. We can call Zuzu Pops. There you go. I admire your spirit, kid. <laughs> so you got spunk. kid and he's Pops. You got spunk, kid. You got huevos rancheros. 
Is that the <laughs> blue bag of Doritos? Huevos Rancheros? No, that's not. I want to say that's a, an item that you can order at a Taco Bell. Or if you want the real Huevos Rancheros, uh, go to a Mexican restaurant. Preferably, you know, under south of Mason Dixon line, because I'm telling you, the stuff we have here, not real. Not real at all. No, you've got to go to the, uh, the true, the true, I guess, mom and pop shops right. to find that kind of stuff around here. The, we, the, we all the chain stores. Oh, uh, yeah, right next to, actually, right next to where I work at. There's oh, a, I believe it's, uh, how do you pronounce it? Is it Tacaria? Tankeria? I don't know. If I don't think right. there's an no. N in there, though. No, I'm going, I believe I'm going it's with like Tanqueray. Yeah, I say, I believe <laughs> it's T A Q U E R I A. Tacaria? We'll have to ask, uh, girl upstairs she would know yeah. she would know more than we would hopefully we could ask google but google will probably give us the white person translation i was gonna say yeah google's gonna pronounce it the same bastardized way yes. we do. so we're, we're we're just basically uh throwing exposition at the wall right now uh Zutzen was hired to come here and wipe out this curse and uh, he's going to say that as many different times as he possibly can. In case, yeah, in case we didn't pick it up the first six times when right. he introduced himself and said why he was here. Oh, now he's going to walk away. Next time we see him, he'll probably mention it again. I'm no good at fighting. I'll stay here and dodge monsters till you get back. Bold. If you want to act the most out of a new weapon, come see me anytime. I'll show you the true power. Or it's true power. I don't know if the typo was there or if I read it wrong. Six and one half dozen to the other. Oh no, go back, go back. He just he just offered to show us power. We're gonna oh get that just, acupuncture. Yeah, let's see what's going on here. Um, actually, we might be finding a new weapon here shortly. Use on you. Okay, for some acupuncture treatment. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's let's just see what that that's all about. New customer, I have to tell you about how business works. That's exactly what I came to you for. There we go. Plenty of great weapons, but they're not worth much if you don't master them. Uh, normally it takes years upon years to learn just one weapon. That's, we don't have that kind that of time. That hardly sounds like fun, right? Uh, with my acupuncture technique, it'll feel like you've known the weapon for ages. It's an extension of your hands. Uh, All you have to do is lie there while I work my magic on you. A hundred percent. There's a lot of trust yeah, evolved right? in this experiment. Strengthen the weapon's attack power and widen the hit areas of the judgment ring. Oh, there we go. Reinforcement is possible to three degrees for each of these. In addition, the state can be reset for free. But you do not receive a refund. Alrighty. So even with a receipt, you're fucked. So let's go here. So if we raise the attack power, shrinks our hit area. Uh, if we maximize our hit area, doesn't seem to have a downside other than it costs money. It shrinks. I do believe it shrinks the... Oh, the critical area? It does seem... Maybe it is just the color where it's hitting on the wheel on the third spot. I thought it did shrink that area. Whereas increasing attack power actually makes those a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, it does look like it broadens up. Honestly, or see, maybe it's an it's optical like illusion. Effect right, maybe it's an optical illusion that it's not making the strike area bigger, but the strike area stays the same size. I, so when way, that slice gets smaller, it's proportionally it's bigger to the strike area. Either way, we're not we're not spending money on the on the starting gear. Yeah, we'll find some new gloves. We found this cat lady again. What is this smell? I could tell you, but I'd have to kill you. Ooh, that smell. <laughs> is she bothered? She isn't acting the same as before. Is it because of pops? Is it because of pops? God have him. He's pops. got that uh, old man smell. Oh, the bronze arrowhead. How many times did I walk past that and not pick it up? I'm wondering if they threw that there after we. After uh, the world conversion? Yeah. Or after meeting Zeusin? Zushin? Zubat. Zubat. <laughs> Should name him Zubat. Alright, 
So let's go uh, Death Emperor, my uh, chosen out of the two that we have so far. He's a... And at this point right here, you would think Zuzen would freak out. And be right, like, holy yeah. crap, you're also a demon. They did Alice, not get over here. Let's beat the crap out of this demon, all. too. That's a party trick here. He just drops on people. I was right in front of all of those criticals. Didn't get a single one. Uh, Alice still no MP. Wait, how much does my cure call? Six? So I can still get Almost three. three. Just two. Two? Yeah, man. One MP shy. If she levels up once, we'll be able to get three out of it. Which I imagine she will before we find the boss. Uh, she's killing the... I was gonna say, flying yeah. greens? That oh, crawl? yeah, but Yuri takes those out in one hit. Alright, so here we go. New guy. New guy. Uh, Yin and Yang. That's that's his mask. His, uh, his magic. And we got Ogre Flame Dance. Ogre Flame Dance. I would love to use it and show everybody, uh, but it damages all enemies, so we'll save that for a more reputable time. I mean, we got two enemies. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it for the people. Might as well. Two enemies is better than just the one. I'm not even gonna try. That was like just a sliver. Yes. Couldn't tell you what he said there. Oh. It I... didn't sound like Ogre Flame Dance. It did sound like, you know, real, like a real sentence structure, like he was actually chanting, though. So, you know, that might be something we look up later. I think that would be fun. Kind of figure out if he's actually saying something or if it's you know they made up like just his gibberish chance. yeah same for alice imagine. even for what she says i wonder if she is using latin words or she's the beginning said it was what ruin france rowan ruin yes where, so, her, where her father's uh died yes yeah so she's she's from europe somewhere man this is like my least favorite game run around and find the cat lady 20 times to fight her. Like, this is this is what we call uh, grinding by... I don't know. I, I tried to think of something fun. Artily, artificially inflated playtime. There you go. This is this literally a game of cat and mouse. Which now reminds me of... Uh, wasn't there a, a old, old computer game? Where you had, I think it was a maze, and the mouse was trying to get through the maze to get to the cheese. I remember playing at the computer lab back at the elementary school. You're thinking of the movie Flowers for Algernon. I have no <laughs> idea what that is. Oh, it'd be so a lot funnier if you be. did. That's a, that's a movie about a mentally handicapped man that uh, they, they make him do tests where he has to get through like the paper maze. Uh, before the mouse can get through the real version of the maze to get the cheese. And oh dear. The mouse whips his ass a couple times. It's a really sad movie, uh, but they, they do some science on him to make him smarter. Uh, but it's it's artificial, it doesn't last, and it's just, it's it's a pretty upsetting story. Uh, it sounds sad. Oh, the book is way worse. But uh, yeah, real sad. Big, big feels. Uh, but for your guys' homework, that is now on the reading list. Ooh, what was it called? Ooh. The Flowers of Algernon? Flowers for Algernon. Flowers for Algernon. I don't right. Watch the movie, and if that doesn't hurt your soul, then maybe go watch it or go read it. But uh, I would definitely watch the movie first because it's a lot more tame. The, the book is just very upsetting. But Not watching the movie doesn't give you credit for the book club. So no personal pan pizza. We're going to carry that book it thing through every episode. We're going to do a book it joke every episode, people. Uh, get ready for that. It's it's become Ooh, a trend. There we go. Uh, did not get any more MP. No MP. But we learned Holy Edge. Uh, and my knowledge of video games tells me that that imbues our weapon with holy damage. Unfortunately, none of the enemies we've fought so far... Dark. Or dark. Yeah. I, so oh, maybe the boss will be. Uh, maybe that's why they're making us do this runaround thing. So hopefully we can get Holy Edge first. Oh, I thought for sure she'd end up back here. Ooh, let's go to the house. Maybe she's at her house again. She could very well be in the house. And we can close to the dynamite. All right. 
Oh, ha, ha. So we're here again. Well, yeah, we're trying to catch you. That is the Yamaraja's decision. Well, now we got freaking Pops with us, and I think he has something to say about that. What you mean, Granny? It is the decision of whoever's controlling Yamaraja behind the scenes. Oh, snap. Who are you? Oh, she's threatened. <laughs> it's acceptable for him. He's an older gentleman. It's just the old guy laugh because yeah. there's three heads. Yeah, he's, he's coughing up some, some old man phlegm going on. You couldn't even catch me. That's hilarious because we are right here having caught you. Yeah, if Yuri just extended his arm once. Damn it, Yuri. Grab her by the shirt. <laughs> we missed her again. No, I can still feel her presence. She is still heading somewhere in this house. Oh, well, nice. Secret this is time formula. to find a secret formula for smoking out cat people. Is it catnip? Just gonna roll up a fat one. Yeah, burn up some catnip. <laughs> yep, burn just like hotbox the house. Any idea what we should do? That I do. I suppose I know how cats take to catnip. Oh, yeah. I, I assure you, this is not me pretending to not remember this stuff. I legitimately don't remember a lot of the finer details. Mixing catnip with a special dye. This here is something called anti-cat powder. It's like the shark repellent. Right, yeah, from from before. <laughs> yeah, from before. If you're just skipping around in episodes, you ain't gonna get some of these jokes. If we if we do put chapters in it, this chapter would be shark repellent. Right, payoff for shark repellent. <laughs> right. Naturally, there'd have to be a book it chapter as well. Like it. <laughs> We'll just label an episode book it. Maybe that'll be the conclusion. That'll if you be made the it this final, far. Yeah. She probably couldn't stand the thought of running into me and having to smell this odor again. Take a bath. <laughs> Herbal remedy for stomachachas. But its smoke has a powerful effect on cat people. You run into a lot of cat people, Zhuji? High as a kite. They start rolling around. You can't can't pronounce their, their C's anymore. Really just messes their brains up. Their brain. Their brain. But to do that, we'll need a metal vessel and a torch. We need to go find these two things. When you bring them back, I'll burn the incense in this house. Metal vessel and a torch. I mean, at that point, there's look, can't we there's just skip the metal vessel? Burning candles right there. Right, couldn't we just take the torch and burn the house down? If she's in the house, she should, she should go up with it. Well, if the whole point of this is to burn the anti-cat powder stuff, uh... Couldn't we just, uh, I mean, let's just use one of those skulls. Does it have to be metal? I imagine it just has to be non-burnable. But, but hey, if, if the point is to burn the anti-cat powder, uh, just sprinkle it in the candle. Yeah, just pile it on the floor. Light it up. Yeah, or like you said, yeah, throw it on the floor and burn the house down. Right. But and throw the, throw the cat powder in there. Floor. So the burning house will ignite the cat powder. Two birds with one stone. One cat with one bag of powder. Yeah, and also a house. <laughs> Man, I I really do like the the battle music. It, it's just haunting enough that like it, it really gets the premise of the game across. So let's see what that is. Add light class to target's physical attack. Yeah, look at us go. Well, we know things. Yes, we uh, no first way. perfect. First perfect. Oh, Alice. Nope. Jot it even, down. Didn't even kill it. That's fine. Uh, if I remember correctly, Pops doesn't have the best physical attack. He, I think he's right around Alice's skill, maybe right. a little bit, a little bit stronger. He has to be at least a little bit stronger. I think his really only benefit is he is fire type. I would imagine with the ogre flame dance. Man, that dog's water attack did one damage to my dark 
monster? Is he that weak? Uh, dark, I think, is inherently high special defense. Uh, I think light is high special attack, like earth is physical defense, fire right. is physical attack. Uh, you've got me on water and wind. Wind would be agility. What would wind be? High special? No, you said that would for water. I think for light would be special attack. Or maybe dark is special attack and light is special defense. I guess we'll see as we find them. I'm looking for something. I want to buy a tool. Hmm. A metal vessel and a torch. A metal vessel you can get from any street shop and there are some torches near the gate. We were just at the gate. If I remember correctly. Well, he's the peddler, so I guess uh, I'm going to buy a tool. Uh, yes, what can I do for you? said any shop. Are you not? You're any a peddler, I guess. Any street vendor would have it. So he's a peddler and a street vendor. Two different animals. There's no other vendors here, is there? Maybe I just have to go and rob their them. shop? Well, yeah. Another back attack? Oh, we rearranged our party. Well, they came up behind us. Uh, so it is, it is a mirror image. Because now Alice is in the front row. Oh, fair. Oh, oh no. Susie. Oh, watch him just use the, the ogre flame on everybody. If we're lucky, chances are great he just biffs Alice with that cane. <laughs> I mean, she's almost got full health. I think she can take it. Zombies just I, you can't be scared of zombies. Like they're just they're just rotten flesh. And goopy. Ooh, oh, yeah. strike! Still, Still can't get it. a KO. She should just stick to the green flowers. I was gonna say I should have just went with it. Oh yeah, there we go. finish it off though. He did nine damage on yeah, that one. He only did six before. Fusion don't mean shit to Zuko. Confusion Zushin. He's like, I smoke so much weed, man. There's opium. Whatever he's into. Cat powder. Cat powder. Anti <laughs> anti cat powder. He's, I actually smoke it. That's, yeah. Cat powder's out of my own supply. I expect you to reimburse me <laughs> yeah. after this mission. That's why the uh, cat lady said it stinks, because it is that dank herb. Right. He just got it from his dealer and his dealer told him it was catnip. That's just the name of the the, the strain. strain. Yes. This is that catnip, son. Like you smoke it, just meowing all over the place. <laughs> Start rubbing your face against door frames. Ooh, yellow malice. Yellow means caution. Yellow, yellow don't mean shit. Oh, there we go. Oh, did it you to pick it, it up? What? What is What's it? The X button, right time to. What is that word? You hit all three. Normal ring. Oh, so it should normal be just ring. normal, normal, bang, normal. Bang, bang, Excellent. Excellente. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. I got you. Close. Uh, Close. Well, no, because I, I got the bolt. What, I'm going to say I love you to the bolt? You can. There's nothing wrong with that. You're allowed to love things. How would I even know that the torch is there? That's a little silly. But we got what we need. Well, the peddler told us it was by the gate. That's true. I'm just walk around mashing X. Yeah, how we found everything else in this That's game. True, yeah. <laughs> just but just imagine blindly is, hitting X. Imagine this is the first JRPG you've ever played in your life. You're, you're, you're new to the genre. And you're just looking for like an actual torch on the wall. Which I guess would be your first mistake. I was gonna say that would be your in this first game. mistake. <laughs> Everything is so dark in this game. Everything else we've picked up has had no indication of being there. Right. What do we got? A canis. So we'll 
take out the Zoms. And leave the Canes for Alice. Alice the Canes killer. <laughs> Canis for that anus. Canis for that anus. Nice. Ooh, and a strike. Drop him. Dang it, Alice. Pull your she weight just, in this team. She just doesn't have dinner. To kill the Canis? To kill anything. Well, the Green Flyers is the only one. Oh yeah, those aren't. Those don't have souls. And got no soul. She gonna put it in a hole. <laughs> Jujin sounds like he's sneezing at the end of his combo. I, I on our first video I commented about the awful noise that Alice was making, and uh, cleaning up the audio has definitely improved the noises coming out of it. Because at first it was just like these horrific like screams almost yes it was yes now she does sound yeah. like a girl hitting someone with a book yeah, before exuding it, a lot of effort yes before it sounded like demon exorcism with the turbo base on she fully hit this freaking canis with two full combos didn't kill the damn thing there we go here you go you just gotta smack it in the jaw with a stick that would drop a dog for sure <clears throat> Filling those up pretty good. I'm gonna be mad if we. So if we get a red malice, we have to go back to the graveyard, uh, and we, um, have, we have to fight a boy. You can go back. I guess you can actually go back. Yeah, anytime you feel feel the the need, the want to no. to clear it out. We, uh, we once at least you want to beat the boss here before we have to go back to the graveyard. Oh, definitely. Need some pacing. Back in the house. Get in the house. Get in the house. Get in the house. Before we go in the house, uh, okay. use the right. tent. This, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get one more fight. We're gonna use Alice to heal Yuri. After the fight, we'll use a mana leaf uh, to get Alice's magic back. Then we'll go in this house because we're about to fight. Uh, Same we want to get into a fight. We won't be able to find one. Oh, I know. Back attack. Oh my gosh. We were running in a circle. They're just. These enemies are sneaky. You think you could hear them? Like, sneaking up behind you? Oh my god, a puddle of shit's coming up behind me. Ah, <laughs> oh, just a zombie. Well, I guess as we're running around, we're also making the... the nasty, um, sloshy, the, steppy yeah, noises. The quarter inch of mud suctioning to the bottom of your boot noise. If I was is there a, is there I'd a name for that everywhere. noise? Uh, smuction. Smuction. Like when you when you jam two fingers deep into a jar of uh, smuckers, get some smuction. Some smuction. So I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask. <laughs> what prompted the that's the bullshit. finger blasting? Of the of the smuckers for the schmuction. Uh, well, I, I was using one of those tiny uh, dessert spoons, and I dropped it inside the, the schmuckers. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And I'm sticking to it, like like the <laughs> like that sticky schmuckers. Yeah, like how sticky my fingers were <laughs> after getting schmuction into the the grape jelly. Grape guy, huh? Not anymore. <laughs> Ruined it for me. Nope. The grape schmuction. It is. The it's a turn that's, off. That's what I call that that incident. The great schmuction. <laughs> you never just jammed your fingers deep into a jar of schmuckers. Can't say that I have. No. L i v i n, brother. Live in. <laughs> A utensil, maybe. I mean, uh, the same noise, really. Just none of the, none of that beautiful feel of the. No, I feel it vicariously through the utensil, on the cold steel. Some people got a good imagination. Some people don't. Maybe, uh, maybe next time I make myself a sandwich. Oh, you'll de everyone next time they look at a jar of Smuckers be like, you kind of want to jam my fingers deep deep inside that jar. Yep. 
You're just walking through the aisle of the grocery store, eyeballing all the jars of jelly. Yeah, you you open mm. a jar of jelly when you get home, and and there's just like a deep gash in the center of it. Uh, someone's been listening to uh, you, you and Prime. We do not accept responsibility for any schmuction related accidents. No, nor, nor do we endorse you jamming your fingers inside of Do it. not condone this yeah, behavior. No, only if you own it. If you own it, stick with whatever you want there. Yeah, if it's your 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 schmuckers, you can you can schmuck it. Yeah, schmuck, you can you schmuck, schmuck it. it up. We are not endorsed by schmuckers anymore. Some late night schmucking. Late night schmucking. But now we got red malice. The late night you schmuckin' are. is definitely the name of this episode. <laughs> Requiem for a Hero, episode three. Late night schmuckin'. Burning the midnight oil. Burning, burn, burning that midnight schmuckers. <laughs> all right, all right, we're ready. We're ready. We got red malice, but the game didn't tell us we have red malice, so we don't care yet. Maybe it's not fully red yet. No, it's we'll like see a, after this boss fight. It'll it's it'll like a probably blood orange. Attack us. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee and I hope y'all can't hear it. And if, if you, you can, can, I just wanted to let y'all know what it was. I'm not just sucking air through my teeth or something. It's not, uh, it's not some schmuction yeah, there's happening. There's no schmuction happening on mic. That's, that's after mic. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, for the after party. That happens in the VIP room. Ooh, there we go. Uh, Cat powder burns blue. Whoa, and now this stinks. Intense flame on that cat powder. And it doesn't smell good either. That's unfortunate. Oh, here we go. No, it is that dank bud. Hack, hack. What is this what shit? What is this? <laughs> you can't burn that here. <laughs> Got you now, old hag. Ready to be skinned, cat? Man, you already made that joke, buddy. How? Dare you? You're all in big trouble in Little China now. Hmm. Is that is that dateless? Knowing knowing about Big Trouble in Little China? <laughs> yeah. I hope I hope everyone knows about that movie. It's uh. I can't say it's, it's one a of, one good of movie. Kurt but Russell's it's, better it's, movies. It's something that's you need to see. It's a solid movie. Is uh, it? I haven't seen it since. It's been a while. <laughs> it's it's got some hokey parts. That's for true. Uh, Felinus, the finest Felinus. Felinus, Felinus, feeling us, <laughs> feeling us, feeling that schmuckshin. Yeah, she she got schmuckshin written all over. That's why her claws are red. She's been dipping that wild berry. Uh, let's. <laughs> She looks more like a, a jam lady, though. We're just gonna defend because there ain't there ain't no damage to be had at the end of Alice's book. Nice. Oh, I went for it. And I hope it pays off. Four, Nothing two, spectacular. And three. I mean, that, those could have been ones. You see, I was gonna fang. do Holy Edge. Yep. But I feel like I shouldn't have because you know wind. That did that did more damage to Alice than anyone else. Well, maybe not. Zushin might have taken it. But either way, like, come on, Alice. Get it together. Uh, raise a special attack power. So let's do that. Let's, let's do a smart battle. I've never done this before, because I usually just outright brutalize people. Just go for the, the overpowering physical attacks. Yeah, I mean, it's the easy way out, really. But, you know, let's... let's Let's let Zushin shine a little bit. Uh, does anyone need healing? No. Um, we'll, wait. we'll wait. Yeah, we'll not, not quite yet. So now we got some special attacky. Let's do some, some flame dance. Uh. Cool effect on that. Dang, that's some good damage, though. Hell of a lot better than 4, 3, and 2. Yeah, it that damage, though. Look at that. You could probably just just massacre. 
I mean, I have high physical attack. I should probably use that to my advantage too. Ah, oh, this is on. true. Oh yeah, that's that's good damage too. Definitely. Um, Alice is getting getting a little bit hungry, running out of starchy potatoes. Doing uh, doing the, literally nothing. Is the cat wobbling yet? I don't think so. Okay, we're gonna do another. Do have another we have play. we pumped enough dam? Hitting them with the dammies. Getting so close to that one. I know, I gotta inch my way over there, because if I just go for it, I'm gonna miss. There we go. Getting sloppy yeah, over there. <laughs> getting, getting sloppy. <laughs> I know how you like your felinus extra sloppy. Okay, now we can heal the boy. Uh, 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 there we go. Got one thing out of it. I like that drill kick. That's a nice drill kick. It is. Uh, let's, let's cure it up. He'd be getting dizzy after a couple of them. It heals everyone at on a grander scale, except for herself. Wait, isn't it Zeus's turn? Um. Yuri's got just slightly better speed than everybody. He's just creeping above him. Potentially. Ooh. Did y'all hear that? That was the groan of a dying cat lady. I think this might this, be it. This should do it. Yeah. This should be the clincher. Uh, put on a clinic. Ooh. Perfect. That's how we end it. Gotta be. Do it, Jujin. There it is. Where's that? Lamb. Uh, get schmucked. A little twirly bit. We got 600 bucks out of that. And we took her lottery ticket. I mean, that's probably the only thing she had on her. I'm not gonna walk away from this empty handed. Yeah, if we're gonna kill a cat team, might as well take their wallet. What'd she give? Yep, yeah, wind. Just as I suspected. It's not the wind. It's not the wind. Suspected she would be a wind enemy. Ugh. I've been defeated by a human. Technically, I guess Zhujin did. That was got the killing blow. Yep. So it was by a mortal man. Vengeance was in vain. I feel for you, but I suggest you let it go. And give yourself some peace. Zushin, the voice of reason. I'll ask my employers to pray for your souls here. Oh, we could just pray for our souls. Zushin could. From you. Alice could. I don't think Yuri looks like uh, the praying type. No. I mean, he can turn into. If you can turn into a demon, I feel like you're automatically going to hell. Like that. You're gonna get up to the pearly gates and they're gonna be like, mm mm, mm mm. No, sir. I seen what you did. Uh uh uh. Yeah. You didn't say the magic word. Yeah. Ten points for the, the person who posts in the comments what movie that's from. Now, now, Alice. We're not done yet. Next comes that so called shrine. We gotta bury all them bones? At least got a pressure wash around here. Because this After place is a mess. Yamajara. Oh, are we. I don't remember if there's another boss fight here. Uh, what's our time check? We are just about at 54 minutes. Oh my word, we need to start setting timers, man. Alright, well that'll... That'll uh, mess up the natural flow. Of... <laughs> I think Of we're, getting way too close to an hour? I think Damn we're it. in good Damn shape. It. Damn it, did the wrong freaking memory card. It's okay, it's all part of the creative yeah. process. All right, guys. So uh, we're one step and closer and to saving the town. Else, uh, we appreciate y'all watching, listening, being here with us, taking this journey with us. Uh, there will be more Shadow Hearts to come. We're still not sure how frequent we were going to release these. Uh, we know it'll be at least one a week. Kind of thinking we might do two a week. Uh, I won't say what days. Nothing set in stone yet. Uh, but there, there will be at least one video a week. 
Most definitely. We've got, uh, our schedules are open enough. We can, we should always be able to fit out the one a week. And depending on, yeah, if we're feeling, uh, feeling frisky. Right. We can, right. we can crank out some more content, release it on a more regular basis, have it nailed down a day. I mean, honestly, the, the more coffee we drink, the later we can stay up, the more we can just hammer these bad boys out, because I mean, we, we have fun doing it, and that's that's what it's about, guys. That's This is about our enjoyment, right. uh, and hopefully you like it too, but I'm not going to lie, this is, this is like a 60% for us, 40% for you kind of deal. 100% for the schmuckshin. Oh, dude. We, we do want the feedback in episode four. We want your feedback on the schmuckshin. Let us know what your thoughts are. This is this is episode three. Right, so in episode four, oh. I would like to hear back oh. from them. I see. I see what you're saying. What we, they think about the schmuckshin. Right, we can do like a read uh, on... Yeah, if anyone comments, uh, we're we're gonna read them, <laughs> right? <laughs> we're, yes, we're, we're not above reading comments, especially because no. there's gonna be like three, <laughs> so two of them are mine. <laughs> yeah, and that's, we're aiming high with three, right? Uh, so you know, do do the subscribe thing, do the like thing. We're not gonna say it in every video because every time someone tells me to do it, I roll my eyes because I watch all their videos and they tell me every freaking time. And I, yeah, honestly, every time I hear it, it makes me not want to do it. It. I think about doing it, then they say, hit that bell, and I say, you know what? No. Yeah, I look I, for your videos. I don't need you to find me and send them to me. Yeah, I say nay. Right. Uh, don't tell me how to live my life. But, I mean, we're not we're not trying to make money here. We're trying to make smiles. And, and some friends. And uh, share some of these classic games that we loved. Oh, that absolutely. We feel like don't get enough traction, don't get enough recognition. They're not coming back anytime soon. I don't see remakes getting being made. No, of... we got we got two more games already like loaded in that we're gonna do. Uh, probably won't finish out Shadow Hearts before starting them either. Uh, so that's probably where the the second episodes will be kind of released in. We'll maybe do two games at a time. One gets released every other week or so on. Uh, Shadow Hearts will definitely be our mainstay uh, until completion. Right. Uh, to go through the whole story of this one. The other games we're looking at have a little bit less narrative, a right. little bit uh, definitely yeah. less total runtime for those games. More, oh, uh, yeah. more just just playing around, having some having yeah. some laughs. Just, just goofing. Yeah, you just know, throwback. goofing. Throwback. There you go. Uh, all right. Well, this is uh, you. You. And this is Prime. And uh, we're, we're signing off. All right. Everybody be safe. Make good choices.